thanks for dropping these off. No problem, Miss Nelson. It gives us a chance to see the school. Don't you think we'll be seeing enough of it over the next year? You sure you can handle that? I small but strong, like boom. Speaking of bull, thanks again, guys. And M? Yes, I'll clean my room. She rushed me out of the house so fast I didn't get to read my new email. I hope it's from Jordan. Because <laughs> in the last email, he told me that he's going to send me back to his house. Guys! He said he had this like, Help! August that sucks about the email. I know, but Jordan emailed me last night, too. Really? What'd he say? I got over 6,000 names on my petition to keep the Polar Wildlife Refuge untouched. Thanks for your help with all this, Em, and for your great idea. You're the best. Wow. I suggested the petition, but Jordan did all the work. He's so committed. Too bad he lives in Yellowknife. Help! Oh, oh JT! People in the 80s were weird. <laughs> This car is retro meets modernism, Lucy. It's got the zing of the past with the technology of the future. I mean, it's even got a little, a little bud vase for the flower in peace, man. You look a hippie. <laughs> Joey, ideally, I'd like a car that's bigger than my laptop. I have to move to New Mexico in this thing. This car is a lot bigger than it looks, Lucy. Trust me, OK? Why don't we uh, take a first spin? We'll drop your stuff off at Degrassi, and when we get back, you're going to be begging me to make all you All right, honest. all right, all right. <laughs> Tell me that's not Angela. Yeah. Hey, cutie, you're practically a teenager. <laughs> can you say hi, Lucy? Hi. Hi. She starts kindergarten next week. Can you uh, believe it? It's going to be great. She really needs to be around other people. Speaking of needing other people, I checked the reunion website last night. You're not confirmed. I know. I know. Joey, we're all sorry that your wife died, but it's been a year. I think that Julia would be upset if she thought that you were cutting yourself off from people. Can we, um, why don't I go in, get the keys, and we'll go for a spin, OK? Angela, you want to go for a spin? Yeah, we're going to sell Lucy a car. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. I really hope you're Mr. Simpson. I am. And you must be Emma. Wow. 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 Spike found all this stuff. It's amazing. Spike? My mom's nickname. Don't ask. And I can see fedoras are making a comeback. Ah. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, listen, go and enjoy your last few days of freedom. OK. Spike? Hey, guys, no running. No, no running. OK, no, just keep running. Don't listen to me. All right. Holy. Look at all the computers. <laughs> Emma, let's go. Oh, I see. You going to email Jordan from here? Shut up. Oh, he can read into my soul. Ow. And the jewel in the Degrassi crown, the media immersion lab. Every computer here is connected to the internet via high-speed telephone access. Oh, you see, Toby? Didn't have that in your old school. Toby? JT? Mickey Hickey Wobble! Mickey Hickey Yap! Mickey Hickey Wigwam! North Creek Summer Camp! Dude, what are you doing? I guess they're friends. My dad moved in with his girlfriend, and uh, Degrassi's the closest school, so... I think we'll let you two get reacquainted, and your father and I will finish filling out the forms in my office. So, Toby, you need a... Uh, I'm going to walk home, OK? Cool. Oh, sorry. Uh, Manny, Emma, this is Toby. We were at camp together. No, really? Um, nice to meet you. Yeah. OK, the coast is finally clear. Manny, you're coming in with me. No. You two no, stand no, guard. No. So, is your friend always like that? Always. Really? <sighs> Kids.
Keith, I know you're really overworked right now, but this weekend's really, really important to me. Come on, it's just one weekend. I want to show you off. Show us off. Please. Yeah, that's perfect. Great. Five o'clock. Thanks, babe. I love you too. Great to see you. Likewise. So you're a teacher at Degrassi. Okay, here. Okay, now, this is your greatest memory of Degrassi. What? So I went through a headband phase. Come <laughs> on, it was the 80s. You were there. Oh, speaking of the 80s, how about this? Oh. Uh, Joey's fedora. Okay. Nice. Nice, it suits you. Where's the shirt? I don't know. I think they, Joey's they still wearing it. <laughs> Yeah. You know? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Why don't you sell me a car like that, Jeremiah? Yeah. <laughs> Manny, would you calm down? If we're caught, I'll say I forced you. Uh-huh. <laughs> What? What'd he say? Manny, Jordan's coming here. And he wants to meet me. Tomorrow. So what's your dinosaur's name? Allie. Allie? So you're getting married. Congratulations. Yeah, when's the big day? Uh, sometime next year. And we haven't narrowed it down yet, but um, you're all invited. Great, so when do we actually get to meet Keith? He's on an afternoon flight from L.A. He's dying to meet you guys. L.A., uh, is he in show business? Mm-hmm, he's a director. I always knew you'd meet the, the guy. Well, I guess um, I should probably go uh, check into my hotel. Um, but Joey, the, the reunion, are you really not gonna go? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, then at least come out for drinks with us tonight. I go. Uh... You know what? He'd love to. We'll both be there. Great. All right, so I'll see you guys later then. Bye, Bye Caitlin. I want to meet him. It's just, I told him I was in high school. You almost are. Jordan's coming here. You have to meet him. It's fate. Who's Jordan? Some creep Emma met on the net. I bet he lives in Scarborough and works at a video store. I bet he's 40 and drools. You still wet the bed, but I'm friends with you. Ha, ha, ha. OK, if you're meeting a stranger you met off of the net, that could be really dangerous. He's not a stranger. He emailed me his picture. I've known Jordan a lot longer than I've known you. <laughs> Guys, it's cool. Jordan's 16. He's coming here on a school trip. A school trip? It's summer. They organized it back in the spring. He got to go at the last minute. Quit making this into something it's not. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go back. I want to see that one again. Don't try and speed past that one. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Keith. He's got great taste in jewelry. That's a good sign. Well, thank you. Um, actually, I picked it out myself. Cause he, you know, he was so busy with pre-production and all that kind of stuff. He just gave me his card and said, go crazy. Can't complain about crazy. Why are you on my computer? Excuse me, our computer? You're on the reunion site again? Next time, can we try asking before trespassing? Next time, could we be more polite to our guest, M? Caitlin Ryan, Ryan's Planet. Birth date, March 2nd, 1972. You're a Pisces, right? And you're a stalker. I can't believe you're actually here. 
in my really messy room. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my god, it's great to see you. All grown up? She wishes. So, expecting an email from your boyfriend? Did you? You hacked my email? Haven't you ever heard of privacy? Relax, I couldn't hack my way out of a paper bag. But I can tell when my daughter's getting interested in boys. <laughs> Mom, I'm not having sex. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun this weekend, right? I promise. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we've gone through all the email. No video store, no mention of missing teeth. JT's just worried about you. JT's just immature. That Toby guy seems okay. He's fine, I guess. Yeah. Girls are so much more mature than boys. That's why I like Jordan. I've never had a boyfriend so smart, so thoughtful. And you've never had a boyfriend. I know. Maybe what? What Toby said about meeting strangers on the net, being dangerous. <sighs> Manny, I can take care of myself. You don't need to worry so much. We'll meet somewhere public. Maybe you should just talk to your mom. She's cool. She should understand. She's not that cool. Are you saying you don't think I should meet Jordan? <laughs> hey. Wow. Teaching is so noble. You know, giving back, etc. Actually, I'm uh, working on a script about you guys. Kind of a dangerous minds meets footloose kind of thing. Just, just a second. <laughs> I gotta take this. Yo, Frankie. Yeah. No, I'm in Toronto. No, I haven't seen any Eskimos yet. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Caitlin, I watch a show every uh, week. The situations you get yourself into, you're, you're amazingly brave. <laughs> brave? So what about you? What about me? Oh, come on, don't be so modest. Two years of physical therapy, followed by an honors BA and a master's in anthropology. Your PhD in one more year? Guys, that's not brave. Oh, no, you're right. It's just uh, brilliant, awesome, and amazing. It's not even awesome, it's just life. I survived the accident, I got off easy. Sort of like wheels. Kills a kid. Ten years later, scot free. Hey, we got white ones, we got red ones, we got big ones, oh, and we got small oh, ones. No if you buy from me, I'm gonna give you a one year bonus oh. on the warranty. That's right. Oh. And Jeremiah Motors, if you find a lower price anywhere else, I'll give you the shirt on the fucking back. Jeremiah Motors, we would love for you at this store. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Joey, that's awesome. I needed a commercial, so I made a commercial. <laughs> right on, man. It makes or breaks a business. Just, just hold on a sec. Frankie, listen. Uh, listen to me. They're from a major. You're not going to sign the deal in some low-rent pancake house. Fix it, okay? But, uh, Joey, next time, hire a real actor. You know, avoid this shifty used car salesman vibe. Oh. I mean, that's what I would do. No, thank you, Keith. No problem, that's what they pay me the big bucks for. <laughs> Guys, it's funny, it's, it's classic, it's, it's a... It's Joey. <laughs> Joey, yeah. Keith, have you had seen Joey through high school? Total ham, the whole way through. I bet. I think it's great. I mean, despite everything you've been through, you're still the same old Joey. Actually, uh, I have changed. And so have you, excuse me. So, can we get two more of those? Thanks. Joey, we're over there right now. Yeah, I know. I'm just waiting for my cab. What's going on here? Nothing's going on. I just I knew this was a bad idea, so I'm going home. Oh, Joey, come on. Stink, will you get off my back? Please, don't start. You know, cutting out the rest of the world is not going to bring her back. You know that, right? Will you save the Psych 101 crap for your students? I'm not a child. I don't need you or anyone else telling me how to live my life. Joey, we're your friends. We're worried about you. All I get are people feeling sorry for me. Why do you think I don't want to go tomorrow night? It just makes me feel worse. So this has nothing to do with Caitlin? No. No, it doesn't, all right? All right, I don't like her boyfriend, fiance. Whatever. And I don't like the fact that she feels sorry for me. 
but I'm fine. And frankly, I am sick and tired of everyone trying to save me. You know what? I'd look and see who's feeling sorry for who right now. though. Okay, Keith's waiting for me back at the hotel. Can I help? Hey, Emma! How are you? It's so good to see you. Caitlin, can I ask you something? Sure. Let me guess. Your boyfriend? My friends don't think I should be with him. Well, what do you think? I mean, do you like him? Yeah, we get along so great. Pardon? Sometimes... <laughs> It's like you can read into my soul. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes, then you just have to take a chance. Go for it. Even if your friends don't think it's right. Like what you do for the environment? Yeah, exactly. If my family had their way, I'd be working in an office right now, somewhere on Bay Street. Oh, what an awful thought. <laughs> so is he cute? Come on, I want details. Details, details, come on. <laughs> hey, Spike, what do you think of Keith? Caitlin could do a lot better. Oh, I'm kidding. Very cool. But how do you know? I mean, when it's one of those times. Well, you know in here. And it's usually right. Oops, bonding moment? Oh, no, no, just uh, boring Emma with tales of my environmental crusades. What you said? Wow. <laughs> Honey, do you want to join us for a minute? No, I'm tired. Night. Night, Em. So, what were you talking about? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, she's so young. Oh, and you're so old. <laughs> Mine, I'm practically 30. I refuse to have this biological clock discussion. I honestly, I don't even feel it. <laughs> I'm going out on a date. Oh. oh my god, that's the best thing about Keith. No more flirting with men in sandals over organic food and environmental chit chat. <laughs> Poor Caitlin. So many vegans, so little time. Sometimes you just go for it. <laughs> Mom, you're going to be so late. Too late. I am late. Wow, you look incredible. You sure? Seriously, it's kind of scary. I feel like I'm going to the prom I never got to go to. Oh, that sounds so late. You really want me out of here, don't you? Is there something you're not telling me? Yeah, Manny and I are gonna watch TV all night. And we might even eat popcorn with real butter. Very shocking. Okay, smart mouth. Wish me luck.
Hey. How's it going? Ah. Welcome. Hi. Uh, listen, why doesn't uh, Ashley here give you a tour of the new and improved Degrassi? And I'll hook up with you right before the speeches, okay? Oh, okay. Why? We have to take a tour. How about I get us some drinks? Oh, okay. The Media Immersion Program is very unique to our school. We will have over 50 high-speed computers with internet access and other educational programs. And we also have the most up-to-date media arts offering. This is all part of the new renovations planned by Mr. Adams. your mind? Yeah, I'm not going. Really? I'm so relieved. Yeah, maybe I'll meet him when I'm older, right? Hey, absolutely. Want me to come over? Um, there's this show on tonight about the wildlife refuge, and I really want to watch it. You know, for Jordan. I could help you research. Uh, it, it's okay. I really need to concentrate. Oh, okay. It's about to start. So I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Bye. Here we have our history room to the right, our geography room to the left, and the English department up ahead. What I wanted to say was I'm really sorry about last night. It wasn't the way I had pictured seeing you again after all those years. Me neither. Can we just say that, that the past is the past, and that the present is now the past, and, and, and that the future is, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I, I just, I'm trying to say I want us to be friends again, OK? Me too. Good. Joy, stay. Just hang out. Come on, no pressure. It won't be a reunion without you. Oh my god. Caitlin Ryan, Joey Jeremiah. Allison. Hi. <laughs> wow, it's been ages. Oh, but I see you every week on that show. What's it called? Oh, and you, your commercial. Yeah, I know, it's totally cheese. No, oh, Joey, it's sexy. The way you rip off your shirt oh, almost made me want to buy a car. Oh, yeah? Well, can I buy you a drink instead? What? I think they're free. Oh, come on, for old time's sake. Uh, I'll catch up to you later. Bye. So, you're in the market. Hi, Jordan, this is Emma. Uh, I know I'm a little early, so I guess I'll just wait down here. But I'm wearing... You know what I look like. Okay, I guess I'll see you soon. Toby, you have a visitor. Manny. What's up? I've got a bad feeling. I went by Emmett's, not there. I tried to sell, didn't pick up. So? So, she said she was staying home tonight to watch a show on Wildlife Refuge. It's not on. I checked. Well, she didn't go meet that Jordan guy, did she? I have no idea. She was acting really weird. So this girl from BC, she meets this guy online. They hit it off. She goes to meet him. Three days later, they find her dead. Like, in pieces. That was some psycho. Emma's way too smart for that. She gets, like, practically straight A's. So? This isn't school. Where would they go? Well, we can't call her. We can't read her email. Why not? <laughs> I mean, you know her better than me, right? You went to high school with her, mm. right? It's just Katie is really pushing this marriage thing. And uh, I'm, I'm about to hit it big down in L.A. So her career would have to take the back seat, you know? And I, I, don't, I don't think that's fair completely, to her. You know? Absolutely. I completely understand. I mean, you're an artist. You need to be free, open to uh, new experiences. Yeah. I'd love to come visit you. That'd be great. I could take you out and show you around. Wait. You're not, you're not Emma, are you? Who are you? My name's Mr. Nystrom. I'm a teacher with a school trip. One of my students is supposed to be meeting a girl. Are you Emma? 
Yeah. Oh, great. I'm Jordan's teacher. Don't tell him that I told you this, but he is so excited to meet you. So am I. I mean to meet him. Well, come on up. We're just about to have some dinner. If you'd rather wait here, I can send Jordan down after he eats. But he did want you to sign his petition. He brought it with him? All the way from Yellowknife. What's your mom's maiden name? Uh, Nelson, same as Emma. Okay, that's not it. Does she have a dog? A fish? Anything? Ah, here we go. Secret question. What's mom's favorite rock band? Huh. Next week, he's going to be sending the petition off to the United Nations. Wow, that's incredible. Jordan's a pretty impressive kid. After you. Hey, guys. Pizza's here. We're going to be making a video journal of this trip. It's a really big deal for these guys to be coming here. Well, there's no use letting this get cold. Uh, the guys are going to be back in here any minute. You know, Jordan talks about you all the time. I hear that you're uh, a fellow hiker. I take the guys hiking around Yellowknife sometimes. There's some really amazing trails there. What's the matter? You don't like mushrooms? No, I'm not hungry. Do you know what? I think I left my bag downstairs. I'm just going to go and see if it's there. Emma, your bag's right here. Jordan, aren't you? Give a big hand to Degrassi's very own environmental crusader, Caitlin Ryan. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Seeing you all here together again. You know, I was actually afraid to come here. Afraid that Nothing would be able to compare to our memories of this place, or that we'd spend tonight rehashing uh, old mistakes, you know, comparing ourselves. Who's done She's what? pretty good, isn't she? Some of us think so. Some of us aren't too sure, are they, Excuse me? We're here to celebrate our future. Hey, Allison. Are you planning to go to Los Angeles before or after he breaks up with Caitlin? Oh. Okay, your bipolar jealous thing has got a little out of hand. Excuse me? See, what kind of loser comes to his fiance's high school reunion and tells a stranger that he's gonna break up with her when he makes it big? But you were eavesdropping? That is so uncool. Uncool? Yeah, and so none of your business. Hey, she's my friend. I'll make it my business. Now, whether you tell her? Triumphing when we're up. Just relax, Joey. So, uh, a toast. To the next Take that, Joey. Joey! Come on. Is this what you want? Huh? Is this more important to you? Huh? Joey, come on. Take it. What the hell is going on? This psycho just came running at me with all this crap about... Uh... Just tell her before it's too late. Eddie, there's nothing going on here. He's insane. He's jealous. Tell me what. So he has doubts about getting married. Who doesn't? You don't want to marry me, Keith? I couldn't tell you my real age. I thought you'd stop writing me. 
I just, I want to go home. Okay, but you can't go home if you're locked in the bathroom. Emma, please, the last thing I want is to scare you. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go down to the lobby. You can leave, or you can stay if you want, just to talk. It's up to you. Bring back any memories. You know what? I'm relieved. As bizarre as that may sound. <laughs> it doesn't sound that strange. I mean, here I am, practically turning 30, right? And never had a relationship last longer than a few months. And then, because I'm always working, I meet Keith. And it's he's not always such an ass. Could have fooled me. And then, you know, when it does last longer than a few months, I'm thinking, well... You ask him to marry you. I thought it could work. He's so not the one. I mean, it's so obvious. I gave Emma relationship advice last night. I am such a fraud. No, 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 Caitlin, you're not a fraud. You, <sighs> you're one of the most trusting caring people I know. You could never be a fraud. Joey, with Julia? How did you know that it was right? I love that she called me Joe. Her hair smelled like rain. And she always, always made me laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, don't be. I'm not. I was lucky. Yeah, you were. Picture of her mom. What does her t-shirt say? Who are the Pogues? Come on, you guys. Emma wouldn't make her password that easy. If I can do it, so can Jordan. Sorry, Emma. We're going in. chicken run. The next day she mentions it in an email to you. So? Jordan's next email? He likes chicken run too. Big deal. Coincidence, right? But the next day, Emma emails you some garbage about how great fresh air is. Jordo's next email? I love hiking. Being out in the fresh air makes me feel so free. Emma writes to you or to anyone? He echoes it back to her. The guy's not looking into her soul. He's reading her email. Your mother's at her reunion. She doesn't even know that you're missing. We have ours. There. His last message. He's at the Bartley Valley, room 1409. <laughs> Hi. 
I love being back here. You know, I, I get to teach kids like Emma. I get to dance with her mother. Someone's gotten smoother in the last 10 Ms. years. Miss Nelson! Miss Nelson! There she's right over there! Miss Nelson! Miss Nelson. Nelson! Guys, what's up? It's, it's Emma. Emma. We, we hacked her email to find out where she went. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello, police? My daughter's in danger. I don't know who she's with. All I know is that it's someone she met on the internet. Please hurry. You guys go home. I'll call your parents. Understanding. You make a move, I don't gonna break your neck. Clear? When will we get it back? Well, you'll get it back after the trial. He's a repeat offender. And this time they think they can nail the creep. But we need this as evidence. So he's going to jail? Oh, yeah. And when this comes back, keep it downstairs. Keep the cyberstalkers out of her room. I'm sorry I ruined your reunion. I hope you had some fun last night. How could you do that, Emma? How could you do something so incredibly stupid? I made a mistake. A mistake? You could have been... You could have been killed. You've never made a mistake before? Like maybe having me? It's not the same thing. I screwed up. I'm a dumb kid. No, you're not dumb. That's what's so confusing. You kept this guy a secret for eight months. Why didn't you tell me? You know you can talk to me about anything. No, I can't. You're my mom, don't you get it? You don't remember what it's like being 12. You don't remember anything. Actually, I do. Em, will you remember one thing? Even when you hate my guts, I'll always try to listen. And I'll try to understand, but we have to keep talking, okay? I love you more than anything else in the world, okay? Mommy, I was so scared. Oh, I know you were, baby. I know.